Okay, I'm going to show you examples of a syntax, runtime, and logical errors. Okay, the first one is the it's a simple syntax error. Um, it is usually when you type something wrong and the program cannot execute. Okay, so when you play it or run it and there is a syntax error or error that pops up, pops up, it is a syntax error. That means the Delphi did not understand something that you typed. So it's not part of the language, so it's a syntax error. So the program I'm going to write here is I'm going to add two values together. So the user is going to enter something in edit 1, and he's going to enter something in edit 2, and when he clicks on the button, he's going to add the two values together. So that should happen on the button one click. So I'm going to create two variables, inum1 and inum2. And I'm going to um, put the value that the user entered into the edit1 into inum1. Okay, so edit1.text. But I will have to convert this from a string to an integer. Okay, to do mathematical calculations, you must use uh, integers or something like that. We can't add two strings together. I know two, other two, and let's make another variable. I ans for I answer. Then I can add the two variables, inum plus inum2. And then I can display it in my label at the bottom. Level one the caption is equals to I answer. Okay, if I run my program, it's going to give me another syntax error. You're going to say incompatible types, string, and integer. So the program is not compiling. That means I have a syntax error. So I have to correct that first. So I'll have to convert this integer to a string. This integer to a string. And it will give me the value 10. Uh, example of a logical, I mean, not logical, a runtime error will be when the user types something in like a A. A plus 5. And then the program will give you an error. Okay, this is an error that is um, given during runtime. So um, the program can not... Delphi will not be able to pick that up for you when you play your program because the Delphi cannot determine what type of input the user will enter. So if you want to catch or block um, runtime errors, you'll have to use something like a, maybe a try and accept. So try to do the coding. And if there's any exceptions, Any exceptions, then you can maybe display a message notifying the user that he's not allowed to enter string values into the edit box because you can't add an A to a B. Okay. Another example of a runtime error will be something like if you want to load in a text file and then the text file could not be found, and then the program will crash. Um, to be able to stop that, you will have to test whether the file was found first before loading the content into Delphi. Okay, logical error is when you have a logical mistake. For example, I want to say 5 plus, sorry, that's a runtime error, 5 plus 5. 
and it gives me the value of zero. So seven plus five gives you the value of two. So a logical error is usually when you get the wrong output. Okay, there's no syntax errors, there were no runtime errors, it's just the output is not correct. So then it will be a logical error. Okay, syntax error is when there's a coding mistake. A logical error is when um, the output is wrong. And then a runtime error is when uh, the program basically crashes while it is running.